All right guys, now we're gonna switch gears from Sandblast over to Wetblast. And beside me is the Micro Hone. This is our entry level vapor honing machine here at Vapor Honing Technologies. It does function slightly different from the rest of our lineup. This one does not have the submersible pump that we typically use. It has a diaphragm pump that actually supplies the slurry to the blasting gun. It does use the same style blasting hose. So you still have compressed air supplied here on the top and then your slurry is coming from the bottom. Now the way this functions a little bit differently is it does not pull media from the bottom of the hopper. This is to help prevent the diaphragm pump from getting stopped up. So it actually starts agitating, moves that abrasive around, creates the slurry, and then starts pulling it in. So you do have to wait just a few seconds for that to happen whenever you start blasting with the micro vapor hone. But this is a very capable system. Again, it does have a proper agitation that's suited for this size pump. So you don't have to worry about that. And the diaphragm pumps, we see these things lasting forever. As long as you are using the correct size abrasive with a micro vapor hone, it is not capable of using all the wide range of abrasives, but that's because it doesn't have as large of hoses. Blast gun and the diaphragm pump itself is not capable of blasting with those abrasives. This machine is currently set up with soda. The micro vapor hone is a great choice for soda because it can easily move that around and agitate it. It's also a great choice for glass bead and that's typically what we see this machine being used with. Now with the micro vapor hone and its slurry delivery process, there are really a minute number of things that can go wrong. The main problem problem that we see with micro vapor hones is that you allow the water to evaporate and your water level gets too low. Again, this does not pull from the bottom of the hopper. So you want to make sure that you have the correct amount of water inside this machine. The only other problem that we have out of micro vapor hones, and it's really not a problem, it's just an issue when it's misused, is that you allow the media to hard pack inside of the pump. Now we always recommend agitating these things at least once every two days. If you know that it's going to be sitting for a long period of time, make sure that you drain the machine before allowing it to sit.